everyone is doing okay today I'm Mr. Palacio I've been a custom jeweler for over 28 years as I have said in uh, previous videos basically just going to show you um, some quick tutorials I'll get into some more heavy stuff custom engraving uh, showing some videos of custom pieces that I've made throughout the years uh, things that I've, I've taught myself how to so this is we're gonna uh, today's video is how to transfer uh, an image onto a, a piece of metal, a precious metal. This one here is a sterling silver. I soft sanded it a bit, as you can see. And this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a Q-tip, some tweezers, something that white with. It doesn't have to be a pencil, it could be a pen. Uh, of course, the metal that you're gonna transfer the image on. Scissors, and you need a laser copy machine. And you need to, whatever your image in, I just got a cave for no reason at all. Um, and I did it in a mirrored image. So when I place it on the actual uh, project, it's going to be exactly how I need it. But it has to be laser or else it won't work. Uh, also, try and get pure acetone. Uh, I see a lot of jewelers out there using nail polish remover. Although that does work, acetone, if you use it correctly, uh, you won't over smudge. And I'm going to use that. Uh, I'll show you how to do that process. So first of all, this is what we're going to do. What I like to do, I like to... Just to, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to kind of just draw it here a little bit, right there. All right, so that's okay. Let me go a little bit more this way. And I'll know because I'm the one drawing it. All right, so this is the one I'm going to use here to here. This is the, the piece here. And basically what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do these little, look like, pizzas coming out of the, the box there okay and uh, one more thing that you're gonna need is uh, you need this um, these drafting dots are, are, are good for drafting on paper and stuff like that but they're also good for this basically what they are these little circles that you peel out you stick they they work perfect for what I'm trying to do here so next I'm gonna get my scissors And everything is going to be fast. I don't like making long videos. I hate seeing long videos with no substance. It bores me. I changed the channel. So I try and do this quick. But efficient. And also where you can actually learn how to do what I'm trying to do here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're not going to eat these slices. So There you go. Alright. So this... Let's garbage that out. I'll just throw that out of the way there. So this is what you have now. See that? So next thing you're going to do is you're going to get the image, I mean the metal that you're going to work with, and you're going to go ahead and put it right there. And the reason I cut it on these areas so I know exactly where to put that there. So let's leave that there for a second. Matter of fact, I'm making that straight because I'm very meticulous. Things bother me when they're not just perfect. I guess that's a good thing. All right, I'm going to cut a strip of these. And the reason I'm using these is because a lot of people like to hold the paper as they get um, a, a towel or a cotton swab um, or a soft uh, uh, towel. And they use the acetone, they put it over. Um, and what happens is the paper moves and you end up getting an inconsistent image on the paper. So by using these little drafting dots, it's, um, it keeps everything in place when you're moving everything back and forth. All right. Another thing while I'm doing this here real quick, just, you know, you want to make sure that it's really tight to the image. So you want to hold the piece of metal, but you also want to push at the same time. And what I like to do is I like to go across. All right. Okay. Guys, you hear that? Uh, let me just make sure. Yep. There's a, a horn that went on outside. I'm at the shop right now. And I have a burrito guy that shows up every morning to feed me. And I'm very appreciative. You'll hear him open the door and yell burritos. I'm going to try and... At least do this process here before I pause it. OK, 
Okay, see like that, it's nice and tight. It's not gonna move when you're doing that. I love it. Be right back. Give me one second. All right, that wasn't too long, was it? I had to get my burritos. You know, um, you gotta eat. You gotta keep the man fed here, so. All right, so we have this right here. Let's see, where was I? All right, one more thing I wanted to uh, mention is the type of paper that you use. Don't use regular copy paper that you would buy like at a dollar store or something like that. Go to like a Office Depot or a place like that. And if you could get um, uh, the type of paper that says like resume paper, it's a little bit thicker. So when you're rubbing uh, on it, it doesn't tear on you right away. All right, so let's get started. Let's go and open this up right here. And you see, I'm going to use that from Sally's Beautiful, Sally's Beauty Supply. There you go. So one is going to remain dry on the Q-tip. One I'm going to use to dip into just like that. All right, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just cover the whole area first with one side. I'm going to soak it twice to make sure I get something good here. And I'm going to go all the way across. Okay. Flip it over quickly and start rubbing. Now, the other way with the towel is good, but it also tears the paper faster. And the Q-tip gives you the option of moistening and then rubbing dry. Uh, the rubbing dry actually helps it get on there. Now, I'm going pretty fast here for the video, but if you really want to get serious, you can see some areas that didn't get. So I always go two or three applications and I always go the opposite. So if I went this way one time, I'm going to go the opposite way the other way. So this time, I think I did it that way. So I'm going to go this way and now I'm going to rub. And you can start seeing it dry out as I'm rubbing, which is good. That's what you want. Okay. I'm going to do it one more time. So I'm going to flip it to the wet side, dip it in acetone. And now I'm going to go from this way to this way, just for the sake of being different. All right. Don't mind me. I can eat later. Although, um, my wife says that if I don't need to get grouchy, but we'll, hopefully I don't get all angry doing this during this video all right so there you got it why do you need the tweezers okay well here you go boom boom let's take a look here tear that off and now you can use those little pizzas there always thinking about food pizzas there and pull that out and you can you got your image look at that so this is real easy. I always go back with a pencil and, and kind of darken up those areas just so when I'm engraving I don't slip up anywhere. But this is perfect. This is perfect. Okay. Now you, it's uh, it's uh, the right side because we used a mirrored image. You take your pneumatic engraver or, or, or by hand like uh, I used to. Uh, and I still do occasionally. Some jobs, some projects I still have to engrave by hand not using the pneumatic engraver. Um, but uh, for the most part, these tools make things easier now than what they used to. And uh, I just love using the GR, GRS Graysmith and all the products that they have. But there you go. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box. Uh, have a good day. I'm about to get some grub on.